Hey everyone, Tac14, so one one here with uh, more Pokemon Showdown Live, and this is session number seven. This is actually part three. If you're just joining us, because I know I did take a break for a while, uh, I'm going back through all my previous six sessions and playing at least one game with every team in this in the seventh session. So there's going to be uh, six parts. This is part three, so this is, was from session number three. And this is my NU team from session number three. Again, this is part three of session seven. And I know that might be a little confusing, but I uh, hope you enjoyed the game nonetheless. And we'll see what we can do here. Looks like we have some, we have one stealth uh, rock setter with uh, some poison spikes and spikes and whatnot. Uh, so he might lead with that. I'm, I'm guessing I'm gonna go ahead and get my spikes up right away because he is weak to spikes as well And it doesn't look like he has a rapid spinner on his team. So we're gonna go ahead and stealth rock He might belly drum here Which would be a little unfortunate. Uh, he's gonna substitute. Okay I was thinking he might try to like set up or do some kind of shenanigans of, of, of some sorts uh, but luckily I Actually not luckily Normally I run Roar on him, but I guess this team from session number three does not have Roar. <laughs> so that's a little unfortunate. I think the best thing to do is to go ahead and switch into Electros and go from there. So there's a Dragon Dance, which raises attack and speed. Uh, my goal is honestly just to try to get damage on this thing. He's gonna Dragon Dance again, which he might be trying to do a little too much here. Uh, that does get rid of his sub, and now we are going to go into, I think Sheninja is the best bet here, because then we can 2-hit KO it. Alright, so first I'm gonna go for the... The Shadow Sneak. And hopefully get some damage. Okay, I did 25%. He's going to substitute again, which I don't know why. Uh, but that's what he's going to do. We're going to Shadow Sneak, get rid of that sub, because it did exactly 25%. Good, good, good. Now he's going to do Sky Drop, uh, which I have no idea what that does. I'm going to go ahead and protect. Uh, that prevented me from moving. Okay, that's very interesting. <laughs> I've never seen Sky Drop ever. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and Sucker Punch. Good, that did 35%. And now he's gonna go ahead and Sky Drop again. Now, can I switch? Uh, maybe I can Sucker Punch. Let's Sucker Punch. Okay, I can't move during this time. Okay, so that's a little unfortunate. Um, now what to do? I'm gonna go into my Kangaskhan here and fake out for obvious reasons fake out good 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 and now we're gonna hit him with the sucker punch for the knockout which is all good sucker punch he's going to dragon dance that's very interesting okay now it looks like he might sub here so what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna go ahead and return yep I called that we're gonna go ahead and do that. And now I'm gonna Sucker Punch again. Sucker Punch. All right, cool. So we took out that Charizard, which was giving us plenty of problems. I've never seen Sky Drop before. That's very weird. It's a weird move. Weird setup. I thought, you know, he might have like a flamethrower or some kind or something like that, but no. All right, he's gonna go into Bravery. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and go to Torkoal here. There's no use for a spinner anymore on our team, so why not just uh, go ahead and go into Torkoal. And I am going to Toxic, because I don't like Bravery at all. And we miss our Toxic! Yay! Fantastic. Well, he's gonna knock us out, which is grand. I'm really glad we didn't get a Toxic off. Uh, it's fantastic. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and go into Electros and go for the Volt Switch. 
He is going to stay in here, and surprisingly, that does not knock him out. I'm going to go into Kangaskhan, because then we can just fake out, and I don't think Bravery is going to knock us out in one turn. I'd be very surprised. Okay, good. And uh, now we can fake out uh, for some... Hopefully knock out if he switches into something else, and that hopefully that will do a good amount of damage. Alright, so we do knock out the Bravery, which is probably his other threat on his team. We do have to also watch out for this guy. This uh, Zang Zangoose thing. So that, that thing could be a little dangerous. I predict him to set up here this turn, so I'm going to go for uh, Substitute. Oh, he's going to go for the Quick Attack. So unfortunately we don't get our sub up. So I predicted wrong there, unfortunately. There is the Toxic Orb. Uh, let's go for the Sucker Punch. And I guess Quick Attack is better than Sucker Punch. Oh well! Uh, now... The best course of action... Is probably... To go into Vileplume. <laughs> and see what we can do with Vileplume here. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and Sunny Day. The Cade is going to knock us out in one hit. Cool. All right. I think I think the only thing we can really do is go into Executor. To be honest, Executor protect. I believe in you, Executor. So we're gonna go ahead and protect here. And he might actually try to switch out, so maybe I should go for the sub. Let's do that. I'm gonna go for a substitute. And yeah, this is Zangus is so good. What are you gonna do, buddy? Start timer. This is gonna be a close game. If I can get by this guy, I think we have a chance. Alright, I'm going to get my Citrus Berry back. We are going to sub. And he's going to get hurt by poison. We're going to get that back. Uh, now I'm going to protect. For obvious reasons. <laughs> and he is going to facade. Good, good, good. Take that poison damage. And now I am going to... Leech Seed. Night Slash takes out our sub. Uh, hopefully, okay, we do hit that Leech Seed, which is fantastic, and that is a, a dead Zangoose, and we get our Citrus Berry back, which is all good. Alright, comes in Ampharos. Ampharos is a little annoying. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and Protect, get more Leftovers back. Actually, we don't have Leftovers, do we? But hopefully get our, our Berry back, and kind of see what he wants to do. Um, so, okay, so now we are going to go ahead and go into Electros here, because he has Signal Beam, and Signal Beam can hurt us, uh, but Electros can live a Signal Beam, thankfully. Now, I need to kill this thing, so hopefully we can, we can two-shot it. No, we can't. <laughs> Not even close. Signal Beam does a good amount of damage. Uh... I don't know. I think the best thing to do is flamethrower! And that doesn't even do that much. So we might lose this game. I think we are actually, unfortunately, going to lose this game. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and... Go for... The Psychic, and just hope that it kills. It doesn't kill! He, learned, he lives with 3%. Uh, honestly, that would have been a very, very close game if uh, we managed to uh, knock out this Ampharos here. I could have stalled a lot. But nonetheless, I think that was a good game. Uh, just he, got, he had a few things that I've never seen before, and I'm a little bit rusty. I haven't played it in a while. But I do hope you enjoyed this game, and we're going to go on to the next one.